mizopongo mizopongo mizo. Yo, Professor J bwana mitulinga. Ise ni moto ni kubwa ni fire. Siku peke yangu joto linazidi umbea unazidi kuniwasha zaidi. Sababu ambayo niko naye tunachafua umbea zaidi. The beautiful Kalundu. Inakoaje? Poa sana. Mzima? Kabisa venye unaniona si niko mzima. Unapendeza. <laughs> Asante. <laughs> Kalundu wana nilifanya mambo kweli. <laughs> Umekuaje by the way? Poa. Nimekuapia. Eh. Hey. Mm, wow. Mwisa. It, that is very new. Kwa sababu uje ni ambio meni miss off air, but yeah. ni sawa tu. So now let me see. Mani meniko na uje ni yake public. Nice. So sani ni mefanyi kaka londo. Tuanze mm. Uganda ma tuanze kwenye. Tuanze Uganda. Ah, you, ni Uganda ni, ni kumoto fire. Yeah, kumeribika. So, ah, uh, first of all, tuanze na mose radio. So na kumbuka uh, yeah. on on first of February 2018, alikufa, cause ali alikuwa. Um, kuna fight alikuwa nayo kwa club flani akakuwa na injuries akapelekwa ICU Nam. so the one that was uh, mwenye ali allegedly mwenye alimuua allegedly uh, anaitwa Troy sindio Godfrey Nam. Troy Nam. ame amekuwa charged atakuwa charged by manslaughter the judge amesema hakumuua kitaka so that's manslaughter unajua manslaughter ni ile haujua mtu Nam. ukitaka kwa so, kumechanganya na kizungu lakini sawa tu manslaughter si nimejaribu kuku kuku explain hii manslaughter ni kufanya nini oh, eh, nile kuua mtu kama hujataka si ile kuua mtu but kibati kama hukua unataka kibati mbaya mm. so uh, atakuwa charged on the 30th of october ah, sawa unaelewa kabisa yeah so anaenda jail for like 3 years 15 years or imprisonment for life so tuna tunangoja tujue how long is gonna go for jail kabisa mm, yes. moto hiyo nzuri hiyo at least umetupa tumefahamu ni vitu kama hivyo mtazamaji najua umesikia au umefahamu kwa ile kwa shabiki mkubwa shabiki wa hayati mozi radio ambaye yeah. aliaga dunia alikuwa mwaka gani ilikuwa 2018 2018 yes. ah naona kama long time lakini sana sad sana Morning. sana sana si kweli, kweli. Na nah, tusikumbuke tunaweza nikalia mimi ajeni kwa very emotional sometimes. Eh hey, najua kwa emotional by the way. Sad. Kenya na kwanga very emotional actually. Kawaida lakini yeah. sawa. Tuingie Kenya kidogo matbado Uganda. Kenya. Kenya. OG Papa Jones. Kali Graf. I'm fine in this eh? time round. So Usiniambie ni controversy tena. Ah uh ah -uh. so eh. OG sasa hivi atakuwa anaingia Irination. Irination. Eh yeah. anaingia Kibob Male. Unajua kwa nini? Mm -hmm. So kuna fan kupita mtu anatoka kujua kana kama Charles hivyo jina lake kama sijalisahau. Mm -hmm. So Charles alinitaka Calligraph akamuuliza, "Eh unaweza tukupea challenge ufanye ngoma ya reggae?" Mm -hmm. Oji akasema, "Ukifiki hii tweet yako ikifikisha 2000 retweets." Yeah. Nafanya reggae song. Yeah. Charles naye anajua KOT kwa Twitter, Kenyan Soul Twitter about yeah, Shaggy, eh? Yeah? So akafanya mambo yake, watu wali retweet more than 2000. Ilikuwa watu kama 2200, 1500. Mm -hmm. Waka retweet mm -hmm. na Oji akasema, Yaani mimi ndio hiyo ilikuwa hewani hiyo. Akauja akauliza, "Eh, nimi mmefikisha?" Na ikabidi basi Calligraph akasemaje inabidi sasa tuwe song. Hata kudhibitisha kwamba atafanya ngoma aliweka katika Instagram yake na kaandika, "Haha, reggae song coming soon. The yeah. OG shall be respected." The OG. Si unaona itakuwaje hiyo ngoma tena? Na OG anaiba reggae. Tujazoea Calligraph fanya uh, reggae mm. reggae songs. Tanapo mata himba. Tumezoea tu aki aki unajua aki rap tumemzoea ku rap na pia kuna ile time yenye aliimba everybody was surprised kwa hivyo cause watu wana, wana expect afanye kitu bigi na tujui muona akifanya reggae so watu wako expect wana expect <laughs> tu sana kuna kitu nimeimagine tunapoongea hapa nini na imagine sasa ujae me shoot video mm -hmm. alafu unajua vile viko vyombo vile vinakuwa na marasi ta vile really amevivaa <laughs> sasa <laughs> Imagine maybe itakuwa better than venye unafikiria kwa sababu unacheki so many thousands of people would expect yeye hey. kufanya ngoma ya reggae na yeah. ajifanya ngoma ya reggae which means anafaa lete kitu moto sana mm. sio itakuwaje papa jans eh hey. OG, Charlie respect. Ndio ndio venye ana rapping nini ni respect the OG sasa kwa reggae atafanyaje? Respect the OGs. Yeah. Kitu kama hiyo msijui kwamba tuachie hapo. Ingine ambayo imetrend. Ingine ambayo imetrend ni Fresh Kid. So fresh kid. he's just 8 years old. So unajua. Mm. Right now amepoa an ambassadorial role atakuwa anasaidia ku kutoa watu hii ama street kids kwa kwa streets za Kampala. So atakuwa ataenda kuapishwa kwa Prime Minister's office. Eish, na na wapo. Na Minister for for Youth and Children's Affairs amesema that quote unquote he will eat big. Kwa hivyo he hapo mshahara itakuwa moto. <sighs> yani yani imagine is just 8 years. Ndio najaribu kuimagine mimi kanani nilikuwa anacheza Kalongo labda. Yeah. Mm. Saizi eight year old wanafanya nini si ndio? Sikuzo kwa magemu sana. Eh, saizi wako social media. Ni demo tunapata ni Instagram so influencer na mtoto wa kumekana. Socialite pole modo. 
Yeah. Mm. A million followers. Mm. But especially kawa ni mtoto wa celebrity. But ni kama ye, unajua ye amejimekia brand. Yeah. Amejitengenezia yeah. brand. Mba chukwe yes. na wapa changamoto vijana. Kuna ujua sasa ni kama ni kipindi cha wa mashariki. So ni yeah. Afrika mashariki. So na amini vijana wadogo ambao natazama maybe kipindi sasa hivi. Wanamini kwa mapea wawo kama fresh kidi leo. Mm -hmm. Ufresh wake kabisa umemtuwa mbaka mekua fresh vizuri kabisa. Yeah. Na maisha na kujogua mtu marufu zaidi nepea waneza kufanikiwa vitu kama hivyo. Siyo? Yeah. Turudi way back hapa nyumbani. Siyo? Mm -hmm. Sasa hivi uh, nyashinski. Real Shinsuke. Real Shinsuke. Na Shinsuke unajua amekuwa na ukimia fulani hivi, yeah. time fulani hivi sio? Yeah. Alafu ile kutulia ile kwa yeah. chama fans wa, wa kumis kidogo at least watu wa kumis. Ana ana uhalikiba fulani hivi. Kweli wana vitu vingi vin common. Kama uh, follow watu wote. Yeah. Maoji tu. Alafu mm. wanatoaga nyimbo alafu ma interview wa cheki sana. Mm. Alafu ongeagi sana. Yeah. Sasa alafu pia wanapagaga vitu alafu wanatushtua. So ni so nyanyi Shinsuke sasa hivi aliweza kupitia Insta stories eh? Yeah. Aliweza kupost, akasema kwamba mamaliza kufanya ngoma yake ya mwisho, mm -hmm. jidukana kama time, ambayo itakuwa kwa albami yake. Mm -hmm. Na likuwa na ungejana na Manu likuwa Sunday, likuwa na Manu tunapitia tuna, 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 mitanda kijamie. Yeah. Akanembeo kiona nyashisiki yoko South B, yoko mm -hmm. na ngoma inakuja, ama kuna kitu kinakuja. Yes. Na basi Manu ni meamini mambo wako, kumwe ni uwe ni mtabiri, ni meamini kabisa. Kwa hivu umesema the last song kwa albami yake, hey, siya tini the last last ah, song. Sila songi kabisa, ah, last song kwa albami yake. Yeah. So albami na drop any time soon. Uneza kuona jua jina album, mama. Ah, Ijo abisi sasa nifanyi, ndo nataka sasa nifanyi ucha, uchambuzi. Yeah. Ataka kama ni kulala kwenye shishi kwa, kwa, kwa geti, mm. mbaka ni kwati. Simu wa washiki ya. Simu wa washiki kikubwa nitafanya nitalala pale kwenye gate. Nisikie hata simu ambazo anazipiga tu. Alo, vipi ile album yangu ni tu hivi na hivi inaitoka soon. Unajua jina kuja nawaambia. Ken unapenda kwa exaggeration. Sasa maisha yangu umbe. Atalala kwa gate yake. Unalala je kwa gate ya Nyashinski lakini sawa. Umbe unanifikisha huko nitafanyaje bwana watu wafahamu sio? Wewe ni president wa Mbea. Gossip commander. Ah, sawa. Mm. Rais wa Mbea duniani. So next yeah. ni uh, Eddie Kenzo. Naam. Eddie Kenzo ame kuna time alikuwa US. So akikuja kuna mafans wengi walikuwa airport na mgoja ni nini nini na wengine waliarestiwa. Da. So Kenya amefanya ni eh. ameenda ku kuatoa kwa okay si si jail jail ni cell Rumande pale. Yeah, um, ameenda kuatoa yeah. most of them were happy. Na walikuwa maboda boda guys. Ah. So aka, watu wakarudishiwa boda boda zao aka, aka apologize and then aka, aka, aka take to social media akasema at least nimetoa 30 of my fans now Ooh, I can gosh. eat. Ai mzee. Hakuwa na kula. Sijui kama kama ningenyosha kila acha nimpigie goti kwa. Yeah. Lakini ningepiga goti kama ah, itakuwa nimekosea Mungu. Simpigie mm. goti. Lakini mzee sina kofia lakini nakufanyia hivi. Alafu mzee kama ningekuwa na vuta sigara lakini sivuti ningekuzimia. Ani wewe ni moto wewe. Mm, Patamu hapo. Hakuna penda ku exaggerate sky and rabies ah, ah. but tweet yake yeye alisema yeah. ati now he can eat. Uja mani ni kama raisi uu. Ani upendo kabisa. Hivi, ana, mm. You know. Kalonu unapenda mashabiki wako hivyo kweli? Hebu wana, hebu wana yo picha, wana tu. Anu ya mani kama raisi ya, ni kama msafara wa raisi kabisa o. Kiba, mbaka bati Kenya pale na komenti. Na Rosary pale. Rosary, yani vitu verified itu. Yeah, verified itu ndo zinu. Accounts na komenti. Edu Kenza, ongera mzee. Ongera. Unajua, this is such an amazing thing. Kwa sababu juzi ya likuwa tu na stress. I see. Kwa sababu, nachiki, ukiona bibi yako wa maolewa na mtu mungine, especially ni doctor. And then kila mtu anakuangalia on social media what happened what happened unajua unatoa stress na vitu kama hizi kabisa ku return the love mm. hata mimi sijui ndio stress na nini ndawapo mbaya mpaka mchoke ndaongea asubuhi mtanajiona uko na stress uko na stress by the way eh uko na stress na stress tu ndani yani natafuta mbaya wasanii wafanye makosa wafanye vitu ateseka mm -hmm. kweli wasanii fanyeni jamu na ateseka mtu wa kiume mm, saa tu <laughs> mbona saa mbona moto tumalize na story ya mwisho sio Ya yeah, sasa hivi ni hapa way back Kenya. Yeah. Ha, tuingie kidogo Tanzania na tutachanganya na Uganda. Yeah. Unakumbuka way back Harmonize na Jose Camilo walikuwa nafaa fanya collab. Unakumbuka? Mm -hmm. Tuko naona vitu vinafanyika. Alafu baadaye tuko na kama vitu vinafanyiki. So Harmonize yeah. aliweza kuweka wazi akasema kwamba kitu ambacho kilifanya asifanye collab na Jose Camilo ni way back ni sababu ilibidi ilikuwa na uh, management ile ilikuwa wasafi. Yeah. Walikuwa nataka Jose Camilo ende kwa sign vitu fulani ambavyo Jose Camilo na kuvipenda. Yeah. Na tukumbuka walikuwa show moja South Sudan lakini Harmonize na Camilo kapoteana. Lakini sasa hivi wakati ya mwaneza kwa nafanya hizi uno media tours in, ya ma country ya mekua Uganda mm -hmm. na meza kushia video katika mtendo wa Instagram mm -hmm. kupitia Insta stories zake. Mm -hmm. Hakimisho wakiwa wa studio na Jose Camilo na mesema kumba kuna kitu kina drop very soon. So, so ondra kuniambia yeah. WCB ndi yeah. likuwa the reason he wasn't collaborating with Camilo. Yeah, yeah, hini likuwa reason. Lakini sasa konde gangu, music worldwide wamesababisha. Okay. Yeah. 
I, at least now he can do his own thing. Sindio? Ya tuone. Lakini watu wanaogopa watu wanaofia sana sije kawa mambo ya Richie Mavoko tena. Kiaje? Najua Richard akaanza ndo basi sinasikia kuliacha tuachia. Mbona unasikia kulia? Honestly sikia. But Mbona Richie Mavoko alivyokuwa na muamini yeye? Si bado bado ni Richie Mavoko tu. Richie Mavoko si bado ni Richie Mavoko. Mbona una muanda estimate? Hapana, ona ametoa ngoma juzi sijui naitwaje hata sisikii tena. Kwa hivyo kwa hivyo ndio kusema akiwa WCB ndio alikuwa anasikika akitoka kitu ina happen tu sikikie ni mo. Ah uh, acha tuone Moneza kama ataweza lakini amejaribu. I, so. I don't think he's Amelipa milioni 500 na hela. Ameshalipa ama anasema ndo anaendelea kulipa. Ah oh, amelipa huyo. Anapongea confident hivi. Yeah. Mm. Acha tuone baje alipo. Kuna pesa uh, yani hit maker acha alipe. Watu wa deni ongea give. Okay na deni kwa ni ongea ngaje. Kwa kwa mnyenyekea. Damn, lakini Diamond pia ana show love ukiangalia. Yeah. Diamond ana play cool. Jana Diamond yeah. alikuwa katika nini ya Irene Woya. Yeah. Irene Woya alikuwa na launch kitu fulani. Mm -hmm. Ngila Diamond alikuwa amekaa same fulani. Ana dance uno kabisa na vibe. Ana vibe. I think nile kuonyesha I am not in good in, in bad blood na harmonize. Hata mafans wasione ni kama mimi namchukia ama alienda kwa ubaya. Ni kama ile kuonyesha you know bado unajua naweza ku support kabisa yeah. kalondu mm -hmm. eh nimeshukuru sana umekuja kwenye show metisha imekuwa Sante moto eh yeah, lakini unaona nyeshikia hapo kabla tuondoke simu tukitoka tunatoka unaweza kumpokeza mike kidogo tu alright eh yeah. nyeshike mwanzo imekuwa shani na fari kubwa sana kwa nayo ndani ya mjengo umejihisi vipi ndani ya show ah eh hii mwa saa naam inatosha lakini niko sawa show nimeona iko town naam ni first time hapa naam nashukuru sana kabisa show imekuwa lit mbaya naam eh ambao wamebambika hapo wanataka kupata party maybe Ijumaa wakipata maela zao mshoo mwezi huu ah. wakuje wapi waburudike na wao wapi ah friday oh, halloween inaitwa je kwa kiswahili yajua hilo bado sio kudanganya niko na halloween party ni nunua masks ni nunua kila kitu tunakuja tuna dress up itakuwa claret lounge um pick road of uh nervous mountain molapo itakuwa na friday Sam. so so kujeni chape sherehe kaida kabisa yeah. ishikilia mike kidogo po ah, yeah. alafu mitandao ya kijamii unakupata vitu kwa mara ya vitu kama hivyo instagram facebook twitter dj nshk dj n e s h k ama patination entertainment utaona hii logo ndio kampuni ile sasa kabisa patination entertainment au vipi yes, kuna watu ambao unapewa shout out wa patination entertainment vitu kama hivyo mashabiki nini um, all the djs wenye nime tuokuwa nao akina moshbi Um, DJ Rev, my business partner. Kila mtu tumekuwa na patination wote wenye kwa patination na shukuru sana for us. Also my fans na shukuru sana kwa kwa support. Bila bila nyi fans yenye. Sasa ya mwisho ni wazazi wangu. Blessed. Thank you very much. I love you. Sawa. Imekuwa shani na fuari kubwa sana kujumu kwa nae. Siku nyingi nita kuita tena tufanya zaidi na tokotu na pigia biashara nyingi zaidi. Mependa unavufanya. Poa kabisa mpokeze kalondo wapa kibuma. Right. Kalondo, <laughs> mita manene ya mwisho mwisho kabisa. Wambie, mamboboi chalda hapo, wambie kitu. Well, ni Instagram tu on Instagram at kalondo underscore musimi iko tu hapa hivyo. Imeandikwa tu hapo mahali hapo. Eh on Instagram at kalondo underscore musimi hivyo tu. Unaweza ni DM nita ko reply si unajua how we do. Watu wenye wame ni DM wanajua ngami u reply by the way. Yeah. yeah. We well, DM kabisa. DM kalondo. <laughs> ndem kabisa <laughs> moto sana kabisa mtazamaji nasema ni shukran za dhati kwa kutazama kipindi na sina budi tena kuendelea kipindi sababu nafahamishwa na mwelekezo kipindi kwamba muda umetupa kisogo tunafaa kwa sepa sepa kuondoka ndani ya mjengo lakini kabla niondoke sitakuwa nimefanya wema nisipo watu shavu naona katika kamera namba 4 ambayo naitazama namuona Suyu kwa hapo kabisa alafu namuona hapa Charles kwa hapo kamera namba 3 namuona Owen kamera namba 1 namuona Elvo amekisha kwamba amecheza na kamera zote pale alafu vile vile kule juu namuona na namuona Ian yuko poa pale Feu pande sauti vono upande wa kupanga vipindi Frank amekisha kila kitu kwa sawa pale yani namsahau kule juu ah kuna mtu kweli extra sidhani alafu eh eh ah kuna sahau vipi Hamstone Hamstone ako pale kabisa amekisha mambo ya kwa social media tunasoma comments nini mnaziona zote zaende wani alafu na the big boss himself na mzungumzie art ndavulo na mcheki pale sasa tunamwambia wewe vipi vijana wanafanya kazi nzuri na umetayarisha kipindi kizuri au vipi ila kwa sasa ni cheki tu katika mtandao wa kijamii Facebook Twitter Instagram at @kendrelbis na tovuti ya kwangu kendrelbis.co.ke unaingia pale unasoma ma story yote ambayo yako live ila kwa sasa nakutakia usiku maneno sokona budi wala shawawa ila kudra zake maneno kesho saa 4 mpaka sasa mchana tutakuwa unapata marudio ila kwa sasa Lala na kuona usingizi wa pono. Shukrani.